What's up guys, it is Jeremiah and I'm in disbelief right now by what I'm seeing. I mean, I almost can't believe they've released this massive patch and believe me, this is a massive patch. I mean, this changes the whole game. This changes everything. I'm not quite sure what the developers were thinking, but guys, let's just run through this patch that was just released. Take a look at some of these things with me, okay guys? So we're gonna, we're gonna just read it together. Content, daily mod, all enemies start with one health. Okay, I mean, I was already talking about how the daily climb was getting much easier. Uh, what's the merits in making all of them have one health or whatever? Let's, let's go on. Content. Events beyond. Don't know. Dance two times faster. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, we ignore that one. Bug fix. Sundial no longer triggers twice on deep breath. Okay. That's a nice little bug fix. But this is where it gets extremely interesting, guys. Look at all these gameplay changes. Let's just read through them real quick. Gameplay. Apotheosis card buff. Upgraded. It's innate. Wow. Gameplay. Demon form card gets a buff. Costs from 3 to 0. Gameplay. Limit break card gets a buff. Upgraded. Triple strength. Okay. Gameplay. Catalyst card buff. No longer exhausts. Gameplay. Noxious fumes card buff. Cost from 1 to 0. Upgraded. 3 to 4 poison. Are you kidding me? Gameplay. Ice cream is now a common relic? Gameplay, blur card buff, now lasts two turns instead of one, oh my, gameplay, dead branch is now an uncommon relic, the devs are, you gotta be kidding me, gameplay, bludgeon card buff, cost from three to two, okay, that's slipping in there, I mean, that's pretty insane, gameplay, cloak and dagger card buff, block from six to eight, upgraded from two to three shivs. Man, you guys already know that I think Cloak and Dagger is one of the best cards in the game. So the fact that they're doing that, this is unbelievable. Gameplay. Searing Blow card buff from cost from 2 to 1. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Gameplay. Offering card buff no longer does self-damage. What's the downside? Tell me the downside. Gameplay. Entrenched card buff. Cost from 2 to 1. Okay, I like that, I like that. Upgraded now triples your current block. Gameplay, Funeral Pain card buff, cost from 1 to 0, okay. Gameplay, Barricade card buff, cost from 3 to 2, upgraded, it's innate. Gameplay, Grand Finale card gets a buff, it can always be played. They just changed Grand Finale entirely, just, now it can always be played. You have it, 40 damage AoE, why not, just do it, go for it. Gameplay, Adrenaline card gets a buff, it is now common, okay, okay, I'll take that. Upgraded in no longer exhausts. They're trying to make sound of the best class in the game, aren't they? I, I see. I see what they're doing. Gameplay. Malaise card buff. Upgraded in no longer exhaust. Gameplay. Footwork card buff. From 2 to 3 dexterity. Upgraded. 5 dexterity. Gameplay. Neutralized card gets a buff. 1 to 2 weak. Upgraded 3 weak. I mean, I don't even need to upgrade it. That's amazing. Wow, guys, we definitely need to just take this for a spin as soon as possible. Let's go right into the game. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's do it. Ah, uh, there's uh, April Fool's. Ah, I'm just kidding, guys. That was my April Fool's videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, they wouldn't make these changes. I mean, it was. I mean, I didn't make it very subtle, right? This wasn't subtle at all. But I hope you guys found some enjoyment out of this video. Imagine, just imagine for a second, if these changes were to go through. I mean, some of these cards that I just put out there, some of these changes completely breaks the game but guys drop a like if you guys enjoyed it throw me some more regular content coming to this channel as soon as possible guys i hope you guys enjoyed it have a great one april fools Woo! i'll see you on the next one peace